right, we're going to talk about DC Comics again because there's some stuff going on with them. Everything with AT&T, that new 5G line, a few other things. There's some strange things going on, and I think it's worth talking about. And I generally like talking about this because, you know, as critical as I am of the comic book industry, I do like comics. You know, I grew up with them. A lot of people like them, like these characters, despite the fact that a lot of today's talent is trash. A lot of the writers and artists are just not up to par. And they're pretty much just getting handed jobs. Uh, you can talk to that Quinn lady for a perfect example of that. Someone who just walked right in, failed all the way up to pretty much event titles and big names. Getting jobs at every publisher. This is why the publishers are failing. Now, DC Comics is doing some strange things. Uh, the 5G line, if you didn't know, is a plan to pretty much change all of the characters. Right? We're going to make... Uh, Batman, some black dude. Uh, we're going to change Superman to a younger version, notably his son. Uh, we're going to change The Flash to Captain Boomerang's kid. A lot of weird stuff going on. They're basically going to replace every character. Now, the rumor here is, and this is what's crazy, and I'm kind of conflicted by this, and I'm going to explain why, is that they're going to go ahead and still keep the original characters. So you're still going to get Bruce Wayne. You're still going to get Superman. You're still going to get Wonder Woman. But you're not going to get them in the main titles. You're going to get them in black label titles. And that means more money, more price. They're going to raise the price from $3.99 to $7.99. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new. Okay, so this is coming out of Cosmic Book News. DC Comics and Dire Straits jacking up the line priced at $7.99. So, if you didn't know, AT&T owns Time Warner. Time Warner owns DC Comics. And AT&T has a lot of debt. A lot of debt. And they pretty much absorbed any debt that Warner Brothers has now as well. So they owe a lot of people <laughs> a lot of money. So they said, basically, you know, there are no sacred cows in our portfolio. Now, here's the, here's the thing. DC Comics, making comic books, not really something that AT&T probably does. Wasn't really something I don't think that Time Warner even does. Uh, the DC Comics and Marvel Comics are pretty much used as research and development for the movies. That's basically their only purpose. And there's a lot of problems with that. That makes uh, that that pretty much puts the comic shops in a bad spot because now you know the industry doesn't really care about them, uses them to you know make money and to justify their existence, while they slowly go out of business. And they are going out of business every other month. It seems like we hear about more comic book shops closing. There was an article actually that talked about how well one comic shop's not even going to sell new comics. Check it out, Orbital Comics of London to stop selling new weekly comics. Weekly comics are a tough sell. They're very hard to sell because, let me tell you, okay, at this point, you have one or two weeks tops to sell a book. If it does not sell in those two weeks, no one's coming in to buy those back issues. Nobody. A very, very small niche people will. And I got to tell you, that market probably will already have the book. <laughs> That's the dedicated market, the people that are going to keep buying no matter what. Uh, people like me that still keep buying books, even though we probably shouldn't because we want to maybe try to help or whatever. Uh, we're still there. But, you know, I already have the book. Today is New Comic Book Day. I already have a stack of books that I went to buy because I still want to support my local shop. I like my shop and I want to help them out. So I go there and I buy some books every week. And that market already has the book. There's nobody that's wandering in a week later looking for those back issues. It's very, very rare. And it's a problem. And that has to do with the quality of the books because most books suck. And 5G, if you don't know, this is what I was talking about. They're going to pretty much change all of the characters and replace them. It's going to be all new, all new Marvel when they changed Captain America and the, made the Falcon Captain America. They made Riri Williams, Iron Man, stuff like that. It was a terrible move, but apparently the uh, MCU is going to go forward with that. I have more faith that the MCU will be able to do it better 
than the comic book line did. But it's a gamble nonetheless because, well, the movies are the only thing holding these characters up at this point. If the movies go under, the industry goes under. Even though the movies don't really (laughs) benefit the comics, they don't have a reverse effect. But the movie's success keeps these companies pumping money into the comics, so it does help in that aspect. I think 5G is definitely a thing. It's a it's a it's a way for them to spur sales of comics to try to get new people to come in. Unfortunately, it probably won't work and all it's, all it's going to do is piss people off. That's all it's going to do. Okay, so let's get to the matter at hand here. What's going to happen? So 5G is going to happen. They're going to replace those characters. So the plan is apparently Black Label will feature the original characters. If you don't know what Black Label is, They've been edgy books. That's what they're calling them. The edgy, more mature line. (laughs) And like right now we have Superman year one. We had Batman damned. Apparently there's a Wonder Woman one coming. And I think maybe even a Flash. Right now they've got a Harley Quinn one going on. Uh, I had no interest in that one. So I haven't picked it up. I stopped the Superman year one book because it was terrible. So ideally here, you'll be able to get the 5G books, which nobody wants, right? Uh, I expect those to fizzle out really fast. So what will happen is the 5G books, the ones with the stupid replacement characters that no one's going to want to read, those will be gone within a year or two. And then they'll bring back the old characters as they do, as they do. But in the meantime, uh, you'll be able to get the old characters in black label books, the big oversized books. And those will star, according to this, launch a number of new oversized titles starring Bruce Wayne as Batman, Clark Kent as Superman, Deanna as Wonder Woman, Arthur Curry as Aquaman, Hal Jordan as Green Lantern, and Barry Allen and or Wally West as The Flash at $7.99 each. A couple of problems here. This costs comic shops more money. Now you're going to make them stock 5G garbage that nobody wants, and you're going to make them stock these oversized books. Now the benefit of this... And why I'm conflicted is because these books will probably have top talent on them. So they'll bring in the big names, the good ones, the, the actual talented writers and, uh, and artists and Kelly Sue DeConnick, And they will write and draw the big name books while they'll put the Zoe Quinns over on the 5G books. <laughs> and it's a very sad move. But what will this do? This will bring a boom in sales and possibly keep AT&T happy and not selling them off. That's a possibility. Now, the reason I'm conflicted as someone who likes good comics, this could be, this could be good for me. You know, I would just buy these and ditch the DC line (laughs) and not read them. You know, as long as I'm getting good stories with the characters I like, I don't really care what goes on in the main continuity. And also a good side of this is these won't be tied into events. If you just want to read Batman and just read Batman, you'll be able to do that without having to read the event book or what's going on in some other book you're not interested in. So, I mean, there's pros and cons. However, I think the argument should be, why don't you just make the mainline books better <laughs> and not do these $7.99 cash grabs? Because most people can't afford to buy a bunch of $7.99 books and the $4 books. So, you're going to see the $4 books drop off in sales, and you're going to see these books skyrocket. But it's a win-win for DC Comics, who's still going to sell those crap books and these books, raising profits, and maybe AT&T will look at them a little bit better. This is putting a Band-Aid on things because it won't be a long-term solution. It's really a stupid idea, to be honest. You should just focus on making $4 books good, but they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. Instead, they're going to kick the problem to the comic book shop and uh, the consumer isn't going to bail out the comic book shop as usual because well you know that's not their job the comic book shops should stand up and not order any of this crap but they don't do that they really just dig their own demise in a lot of ways and it's it's sad to see but anyway that's pretty much it um i think this is not a good idea now uh, like i said i don't mind it because i don't mind spending the extra little bit to buy a batman book or Superman book, if it's by a good creator. Those are the only two I buy. I mean, a lot of the DC comics are just not good in general right now. There's maybe two books I like over there. Uh, Ever since Brian Michael Bendis came to DC Comics, he's just infested them with the worst of of venereal diseases. So uh, 
I don't have much hope for DC Comics. I think they are going to eventually go under, and it's going to cause a massive ripple effect to the industry. So I don't know. I don't know if there's any saving comic books, unfortunately. Uh, They're too overpriced. There's too many books, too many events, and the talent is just not there anymore, particularly on the writer front. Uh, Most of the writers are just trash nowadays in mainstream comics. Most of them are just absolutely horrendous. There's very, very few good writers left. A couple of good artists, but the writers are just just skunk. Uh, Look at Quinn. That's the best example I can give you. Uh, Her books have been absolutely garbage. They give her books because she has the right ideology. Anyway, like and subscribe. Give me your thoughts on this game plan. What do you think about these $8 books? What do you think about 5G? What do you think about comic books not or comic shops not selling new issues and going to older back stuff? Uh, I think that's an interesting move. We're talking 90s comics, older and older. So anyway, like, subscribe. Give me your thoughts. Leave a comment, like, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.